Matty Gotch, the second Radiohead record, The Bends. What do you think? Okay, so this is the big one. This is the big time. This mm. is when they really crack it. This is when the critics really start taking notice. Hey, mm. us boys, you know, us boys with lots of taste. Um. You know, we start digging our teeth into Radiohead around now. You I know, think I was like, speaking our language. I think I was about three, four years old when this album came out. Yeah, I had no idea it existed until yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah. A lot of people consider The Bends their favourite. For me, still a little bit too much grunge artifacts mm. sort of lingering there just oh you know, that's a tune that, that's that had a tune. it had that really arty video where like the guy was lying on the floor and everyone keeps asking him like why he's lying on the yeah. floor and yeah. he won't tell anyone why he is and there's like subtitles of all these people being like why are you lying on the floor and yeah. then finally he tells them but the subtitles don't Disappear. come up come on and you're like what did he say and then yeah. everyone's lying on the floor like yeah. they've all decided what to do you do think it. he said I, I don't i reckon he said everyone get on the floor i look like a wanker by myself <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> And of course, introducing some of the more tender moments mm. in the Radiohead discography. Mm. I'm talking a bit of fake plastic trees. Mm. Some of that. Yeah. What's the other one? Street Spirit, uh, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is like the first proper, you know, well, not the first, but, but like a real Tom York emo number. Yeah. And there's a great, if you go to the Wikipedia page for that song, which I assume you will after, you should be on it right now while we're uh, talking. There's a great quote from Tom York about how like that song ripped him apart so much when he wrote it that he, he'd go out and play these big festivals and he'd be singing it and people would be like, woo, right ahead. And he'd be like, I can't believe they're like smiling and looking at me while I play this song. They're like dogs wagging their tails, not realizing they're gonna be put down soon or something, you know? Dramatic. Which is great. Yeah, it's great that he was just such a staunchly depressed man. High and dry. Mm. How do we feel about high and dry? I love it, you know? And it's a, it's a beautiful pop number mm -hmm. from Radiohead. Sure, they'd go on to grander, you know, more pretentious pastures. Mm. But you gotta, you gotta savour when they were just right in tunes, you know? I wasn't actually referring to the Radiohead version. I was referring to the famous Jamie Cullum cover. Oh, cover uh, of Hydro. I think to me that encapsulates the spirit of the original song better than mm. the original did. Well, Jamie Cullum was a you know, forgotten legend. He was, he is actually, he's the Radiohead kind of of our generation, you know, because we kind of missed the boat. We were a bit too sort of young when they were sort of going up, whatever. Mm. Jamie Cullum brought Radiohead to me, you know. Mm. In the form of a Muzak jazz piano rendition <laughs> of High and Joe. Yeah, 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 totally. I think, I mean, The Benz is a classic record filled with tasty licks. We're talking Planet Telex. We're talking just. We're talking My Iron Lung. Mm, good tune. And it's, that's a big four toms and half a Johnny from over here at Zach. And if you come over to this corner, I'm gonna give it a nice big four toms. <laughs> 